God bless everyone. Happy Sunday. This is Brother Mark here again. Wishing all you the best and love and all those other great things the Lord have for you. I ain't going to keep you long at all because it's Sunday. I consider this is family day. Every day is supposed to be family day, but today is Sunday. It's family day. So without further ado, but first and foremost, I think all the folks who support me, all the family members, everybody, appreciate all the love and support. And I'm going to get right to it this morning, I mean, this afternoon, right to it, straight to it, straight to it. And the day's title of this message is briefly going to be called, God is in control. Simple as that. God is in control of every single thing. He's in control. He is in control. And I'm going to be coming from Romans 8.28. Again, today's message is called, God is in control. Yes, he is. Coming from Romans 8.28. And it says, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Like I said, I ain't going to keep you long, but coming home from church today and actually being in church today, the Lord put this on my mind. It's just, so, just so simple. God is in control. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. The word speaks for itself, but I'm going to give a little snippets because it's just God is in control. He's in control of every single thing. And we know that all things work together for the good to them that love God. So basically... When you know you're fellowshipping, you're doing the right thing, you're praying, you're fasting, all these other things that you're supposed to be doing for the Lord. I may say this before in prior videos, but it ain't in vain. Like our prayers ain't in vain. None, nothing is in vain when it comes to God. Nothing. And it took for the Lord to tell my wife to tell me that, and I may say this before again, that none of my prayers was in vain. And when I heard that, I was like, wow. But anyway, the love of God to them who are the call according to his purpose. All that he called to his purpose. It's just, when you have God in the picture, all things work together for good. All. All. All things according to his purpose. Again, and we know that all things work together. All things work together. It's just amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It just amazes me. Yes. All things. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Love God. Work together for good to work together to them that love God. To them who are the called according to his purpose. I think he was calling me years ago. But I was I didn't I had to I had to uh I had to I had to I'm gonna call them ear blockers on. I wasn't trying to hear nothing at that point in my life. So once those shells was broken off my ears and I needed to I needed to know that how I was living, it wasn't according to God's purpose for my life. Not at all. Not at all. And what did he do for me? And he didn't just do this only for me or my wife. He did it for those, to them who are the called, for those who he called. For his purpose. For his purpose, not ours, his purpose. Because without him, we ain't nothing. How does that sound? And we know that all things work together. You may go through things. It can be anything. Whatever it is. Just remember that it all works together for good. 
according to his purpose. It all works together for his good. God is in control. And it sounds so simple, but it's just, he's in control. And he's working on me right now, letting me know that he's in control. He knows what we want, and he knows what we need. But he's still in control, regardless of the fact. He's still in control of all things. He's in control of your purpose that he has for you, my purpose, my wife's purpose, whoever else that he called to serve. According to his will and his purpose, ain't about how we feel. Like the day in church. All things work for, it's just work for the good. It's just, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It is all good. It is all good. I want to go a little bit more further, but nah. It's just, I just, it's highlighted in blue, my favorite color. So it's just, I just can't, it just, just speaks to me. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. I, sometimes I just think about what have I done to be called to do the Lord's will. What have I done in my life? I was a sinner, a horrible sinner, but the word says, according to his purpose, he, 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 he is just, oh man, words just can't even describe it. Just can't even describe it. I just know God's in control of every single, every single thing, all things, any and all things. Yes, he is. He's in control of your life, my life, all our lives. He's just in, he, he, God is in control. And if y'all hear something in the background, please, it's, it's, it's my cat. He's just acting special right now. He's going through his little thing. But thank, just thank you guys for your loving support. And God is in control. That's basically what I all, this is on my mind, is God is in control of our destiny. He's in control of our, of our, our future, that what he has for us. He's in control. You know how you feel like somebody's around, like something is hovering around you, and like you, you just know it's, it's just. I just got this feeling that my wife is here. Her, she, her fingers is twitching, so I'm gonna just let her say a little bit of words because she's just she's here. She's special. I can feel that. I can feel her presence. Now you feel the presence of the Lord is right next to you, but this is my wife. I just feel her presence. It's like, whoo! So. Here is my wife, Minister Sherry Douglas. And she can finish. And just thank you guys for love and support. I'm sorry, this ain't one of those long ones, but that just happened something happened today in church. I just had to know that God is in control. He's all in the finisher. Simple as that. I love all y'all, all y'all guys. Thank y'all for all your support and love. Here's my wife, Minister Douglas. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless everybody. Give an honor to God. Give an honor to Pastor Mary at Holy Spirit Church in Austin. Give an honor to Pastor uh, Nova at Unity Unity in Prayer on 12 Benjamin Street in Albany, New York. Hallelujah. We just thank God right now um, for everything that God is doing. Now, what stands out to me in this verse or what I want to bring out to you it says that, it, and we know, Romans 8, 28, right? It says, and we know that all things work together to for good to them that love God. That's the first sentence. To them that loved God. To them that love God. That's a mouthful right there. Because there's a lot of people in the world that say they love God. And you'll hear everybody in the world saying that I believe that all things work together for good. But the scripture says all things work together for, for, the, for good to them that love God. 
So it's not telling me that it's working together for good for everybody else in the world. It's not saying that it's working together for good to those that God loves because God loves everybody. But it says all things work together for good to them that love God. So that brings me back to what Jesus said. Jesus said, if you love me, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. So we can say we love God. We can say we love Jesus. We can say that all day, every day. But if we are not doing what he has told us to do, our action speaks louder than our words. I'll say that again. If we're not doing everything that God told us to do in his word, following his word and deliberately doing other things, our actions speaks louder than our words. See, God is not fooled by us saying we love him because what happens is he looks at the heart. But if you say you love him, and you refuse to forgive somebody, then it's not working together for your good. If you say you love him, but yet you deliberately cheat and steal, then it's not working together for your good. If you say that you love him, but yet you deliberately lie, you lie, you lie, you lie, then it's not working together for your good. If you say you love him, but you continue to stay in fornication, it's not working together for your good. If you say that you love him, but yet and still you are committing adultery, it is not working together for your good. If you say that you love him, but yet you put other things and other people before him, then it is not working together for your good. The Bible says that all things, it says, and we know, and we know, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. And then it goes on to say to them who are called, to them who are the called, according to his purpose, whose purpose? God's purpose, not according to my purpose, not according to your purpose, but according to God's purpose. It's working together for your good if you love God. So that means, what does that mean? That should make you feel awfully good and special. Because if you love God, no matter what the situation looks like, no matter how, 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 the, situa how the situation feels, no matter how uncomfortable it feels, no, no matter how hot it gets, <laughs> glory to God, no matter how intense it is, hallelujah, we can rejoice because we can say that it's working together for my good. Jeremiah 29, 11, the Lord says, for I know the plans I have, I know the plans I have, I know the plans I have for you. I know the thoughts I think towards you, says the Lord, thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. Glory to God. In other words, I know the good thoughts I think towards you to give you good, not evil to give you the end that you expect, that good end 
that perfect end. Glory to God. So when you're in a situation, whatever it is, when God is in it, it's working together for your good. And remember what I said, in order for God to be in it and in order to really love him, you have to make sure you're doing what he says. That shows him that you love him. And if you are doing that, then you can honestly say and confidently say it's working together for my good. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord for all that he has done, for all that he has allowed, for all that he has given. Even through the trials and the tribulations and the hard times, God is building us and he's making us a warrior, a warrior for Christ. Press on my brother. Press on my sister because it's working together for your good. Amen. God bless and God bless everyone. And you just have a great, fantastic day and hold on to the word of God. No matter what it is you're going through, know that is working together for your good. God bless.